Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Nacho Dad, and we, this is the uh, cheap trailer build. I've already got my Harbor Freight jack on it. I accidentally deleted the video, but you know, if you know how to put a jack on, you know how to put a jack on. Cut the old one off, cut that one off. I'm gonna get a little plate to cover that. Uh, the wiring harness for my light said 25 feet. It lies, it only goes to there. I gotta get an extension cord to make it fit. So we drove here, no lights, but it's nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Ain't nobody here yet. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. All I've done so far is put lights on it and drive it over here. We're gonna grab some wood. Yeah, you can kind of see the lights there. It's sunny. We're gonna grab some wood, and, uh, I'll bring it back once I get my wood loaded up on there and strapped down. And we'll go get some breakfast, head on to the house, and we're gonna build this damn thing today. Alright guys, we're back out of the Home Depot, and damn do I got a lot of wood. Inside joke there. Uh, so this is it. This is everything we're gonna use to build the trailer on the trailer strap down got my extension cord for my lights plugged in uh... I ain't got the lights on you ain't gonna see it so we're gonna mosey this thing on back to the house and get started alright guys we're back from Home Depot and uh... stack of wood trailer what is this? what is this? we're getting on something here I oh, know uh, if you're looking like I'm looking that looks way wider than that back there, but it's just your vision because they're identical kind of at the same time This is what it's gonna look like. This is uh, you yeah, know the start always do the front board Then the backboard first and line everything up Mount those and then I put my stringers on the sides I'm about to put this side on and then we'll go through and mark and drill all the holes for the middle supports finish bolting all those in Got these on bolted in they're lag bolted from the bottom through the frame so I don't think they're going anywhere everything else is gonna be three and a half inch uh, coated decking screws holds all that on and then yeah a little trim here a little trim there all right that's gonna give you guys some progress um, for my particular trailer 75.5 inches is the width of the frame from the axle there back so I just went ahead and cut all my supports at 76 so I got a little bit sticking about a quarter inch sticking off each side and then you know the frame narrows at the front it's gonna stick out a little bit but I think it's gonna be fine it's gonna do exactly what I want to do I just gotta cut seven more four by fours and uh, what's that uh, for 28 more holes to drill 28 more lag bolts to put in I'll bring you back when I get all these now I'll get my next stringer on and I get the rest of the supports in and we'll start decking it up all right hey everybody what's going on it's nacho dad again and uh, we're on day dose of the trailer build as of now i've got the front support in the back support in back there uh, i think i've got well, how many is left one two three four five so i got four supports bolted and secured underneath i ran out of time last night and it was just too damn hot it was like 87 degrees it's 70 degrees today cold front rolled through got a little rain uh boards are just sitting on it so this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Got my chop saw out. We're uh, chopping the rest of the supports. I'm going to push all the boards off. We'll come through, drill and bolt all those in, secure everything, and then work on the top. All right, guys, I'm back. I almost forgot to video this. I've already started sliding boards on. But uh, this is what the frames, this is what the done frame looks like. Every one of these 4x4s has two holes drilled in the frame on each side with two 3 8 lag bolts tightened all the way up in them I think it's gonna work I know like we're spanning like a six foot gap on these and I was kinda worried I was really kinda starting to think maybe maybe this was a bad idea maybe the 4x4's aren't gonna hold but I think they're gonna be fine what I might do what I probably should have done but I didn't get my ass off this trailer before I fall is I'm gonna take maybe another 4x4 or something and run up the middle and bolt it on and then build bracing off of all these just to kind of support us in the middle and that's a possibility these are pressure treated like they're, I think it's gonna be fine it's gonna be covered it ain't gonna be soaked I think it's fine it's fine it ain't going nowhere and if it does go anywhere, it's going down. But I think it's not going to go down. This thing ought to last a few years. For $300, 
If it lasts three years, $100 a year, I'm, I'm fine with that. So I'm going to go ahead and slide all these boards up, and we'll get a picture of like what it looks like done. And I'm going to start burning everything and putting the stain on it. Uh, getting kind of cloudy out here. But, alright, I'll bring you back when we get everything back on. Alright guys, so we got it down here in the abandoned parking lot. And I'm about to start burning these boards in. The sun has decided to come out and grace us. Got uh, the nacho gas tank. The Harbor Freight $30 blowtorch. I'm going to set you guys up in the tree pod here. Maybe. 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 Alright guys, so we got the trailer down here. And I'm going to start burning the boards in. I'm going to do exactly like I did on the flatbed. I'm just going to hit them with the Harbor Freight torch. And then go over them with the diesel used motor oil you know, farmer stain. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this video, but if you want to learn more about that, yeah, I'll link the flatbed video into this one. We got a torch lit and let it warm up. The key here is not to burn the wiring or catch the woods on fire. So. Basically, we're going to do that nine more times. So let's see if we can set this thing up on like time lapse and see if we can get something cool. All right, guys, so this is what the finished product looks like before the stain. I still got to go through and stain it, but I'm going to screw it all down. That's what it looks like after the burn. Jump up here so you can kind of... Still got to do my spacing and screw all these down, but dang, does that look good. And it'll stay like this once we put the stain on it. It'll look like this. It might darken up a little bit, but it'll lighten back up. All the last three or four years, I think it's going to be just perfect for what I'm trying to do with it. So, I think we're going to wrap up part two here. I'm going to go ahead and screw this down. And might take a few pictures. Part three, we'll do the headache rack, finish all the lights, put all the mounting points in it, and then load something up, and then maybe do some burnouts on it. Who knows? So, until next time, guys, keep it between the ditches, and we'll catch you on the next video.